So for those of you who don't know, I've been talking about getting an albino Oscar for my 300 gallon exotic pond. It's a pond that I have outside and the only thing I have in it right now is just a Florida guard. But I've been planning on getting some more exotic fish for it and one of those fish is an albino Oscar. Well today at the fish store that I work at, somebody actually brought in two Oscars just the right size that I've been looking for. The only thing is that they not only brought in an albino Oscar, but they also brought in a tiger Oscar. Now. I really only wanted to get the albino Oscar, but you know, I think this, some people may disagree with me on this, but Oscars are one of the most, you know, emotional fish. And I think that when you raise up an Oscar with another fish, especially another another Oscar, I really feel that it can make them like sad and depressed when you take away that other Oscar, like when you separate them. Um, so I just went ahead and got both of the Oscars today. I was like, what the heck, why not? And don't get me wrong, they are really, really nice size Oscars. Now, I didn't want to get a really, really big Oscar, and I also didn't want to get a really small Oscar either. I wanted to get an Oscar that was kind of in between, one around six, seven, eight inches or so. And both of these Oscars are like perfect size. So here's the Tiger Oscar right here. Uh, he looks really, really good other than a few little scratches that he's got on him. I got him double back, so it's kind of hard to see him. But here is the Albano Oscar. And this guy is really, really nice. You can see all the orange and the red in him. That is going to look really, really good in the exotic pond. So I'm going to head around back, put those guys in the pond, and let them go ahead and start acclimating. And I'm going to show you guys the Dumbo Air Guppies that we got in the last video as well. Now it's almost dark outside, so it's kind of hard to see, but here is the pond itself. It's a little low right now, which isn't that big of a deal, uh, but the guard's just chilling right over there. He's got his head right in the current. But the pond is looking really, really nice. And of course, these are going to be the two new additions to the pond. And obviously, it is going to take these guys several weeks to possibly even a month for them to get really settled into the pond and, you know, really start to coming up and hand feeding and all that. And of course, these guys are probably going to pout once I put them in the pond. And what I mean by that is once I put them in the pond, they're probably going to go straight to the bottom and literally lay on their side. That's what all other Oscars do once you put them into a new pond or a new tank or whatever. And of course, it is going to take these guys a little a bit longer to adjust you know being in an outside pond because for one thing I'm gonna be walking up over them and they're used to someone you know walking up to them you know through the glass so that'll definitely be a big adjustment for these guys but I think once I get them really used to me you know walking up to the pond and all that I think these guys are gonna be really really cool to have in here because like I said once they get really used to me once I walk up to the pond they'll probably come running up to me and be begging for food so we'll hope for that of course I'll do a lot of one-on-one -on -one training with these guys and once I think they're starting to get really comfortable with me of course I'll show it to you guys so let's go ahead and let these guys start acclimating to the temperature of the water it's a little bit cold right now but the weather here is about to start warming up a lot like it's gonna start going up into the 90s and of course the water temperature will not be 90 degrees it'll probably be like in the mid 70s and we'll go in and put the tiger Oscar in the pond and we'll probably let these guys acclimate for about 20 25 minutes or so let them not only get acclimated to the temperature of the water but also kind of get used to the look of the pond as well so while they acclimate and before it gets really dark outside let's see if I can show you guys the guppies really quickly yeah they are really really hard to see but they've been doing really good in the pond they've only been in here for about 24 hours or so and they've already started to eat I think I'll come back and show them to you guys tomorrow when you can see them a whole lot better and I uh, will actually feed them as well now these are two things you can see really well right now the two soft shell turtles they have been absolutely loving the new depth of the water they've been swimming non-stop I can actually look right out of my kitchen window and see them right there and uh, believe me they have been having a blast in here and the little ones actually started to come out a lot more as well which is really really nice but they've been doing really really good in here all right so the two Oscars they've been acclimating long enough now and they're now ready to go into the pond and obviously as you can tell it is now dark out here guys I'm so glad that I bought this little bitty LED light that just clips right onto the top of the camera uh, I didn't know when I would use it but obviously it's coming in handy now and I can actually tone the brightness up or back down so I think we'll put it all the way up so that way we can see what the heck we're doing now obviously I don't want to stress these guys out any more than they are right now so I want to be very very careful with them all right there he is into the pond go ahead and get the albino all right here he is this guy is just absolutely beautiful look at that this guy is gonna look so good in here check that out Gar and the albino Oscar are meeting face to face right now he knows that he is way too big for him to eat but uh there's a good look at that guy. He is really, really growing a lot. And I caught it. Look, the Tiger Oscar, he went over there and he's laying down on his side right now. And I'm sure the albino will probably do that here pretty soon. So what I'm going to do, since it is nighttime and we just put these guys in the tank, I'm going to shut this light off, let these guys settle in overnight. It's probably a good thing that it is nighttime um, because light really stresses out fish a lot more. So we'll come back in the morning and see how these guys are doing then.
So it's now actually been two days since the Oscars have been in the pond and they've been doing really, really good. And actually that soft shell turtle that you guys just saw, that was actually my old soft shell turtle who used to be my turtle pond before he escaped and uh, made my big fishing pond his new pond. So there's the gar right there actually. He is up and swimming this morning looking great, looking great. And uh, the Oscars, they've been just kind of chilling up under the piece of driftwood, but they've been doing really, really good. They've been moving around the pond, swimming around a lot. They're not quite eating just yet, which I don't expect them to start eating anytime soon because they've only been in the pond for only two days. So, but there's the albino Oscar right there, and I've noticed that uh, like sometimes when I walk past the pond, they'll kind of ease out up underneath the piece of driftwood sometimes and just kind of kind of check everything out. And oh, look, there's the tiger Oscar right there. He was blending in with the side of the pond, but there he is, and uh. You see how he just kind of slowly swims away? He's going to go up under the piece of driftwood, but uh, they're not really spooking, so they're starting to get a little used to me, you know, being above them and not, like like I said, walking up straight to them. But it's just going to take time for those guys to get really, really used to me. So, as I mentioned, though, of course, when they do start getting really used to me, of course, I'll show it to you guys. Oh my gosh, there's babies. No freaking way. These guppies have only been in this pond for like three days, and there's already babies in here. Are you freaking serious? So that just means that one of the females was already pregnant, but I swore that none of them were. That's that's so crazy. There's like five or six babies right there on the other side of the bamboo. That is so freaking crazy. Oh my goodness. Well, anyways, the guppies are all doing great. There's one of the males right there, and uh, they are looking really, really good. Guys, that is so crazy. I swear I just saw that as soon as I looked at the pond. That was the first thing that I just saw were the new babies. Oh my goodness. That is so crazy. We have already got babies in the guppy pond. And it's crazy because I said it would probably take like two or three weeks or even like a month for those guys to start having babies. But uh, three days later, already having babies in the pond. But I hope you guys did enjoy this video. And if you did, please be sure to give it a like and hit that subscribe button. And please drop a comment below. Let me know what you guys think about the two new Albano and Tiger Oscars that we got for the exotic pond. And also... Um, going forward for that pond, we're going to add a few more exotics, not too many. I'm probably going to add a peacock bass and a marble Akara catfish and maybe one other big South American exotic cichlid and uh, that'll pretty much be it for that pond. I wanted to be really simple. I don't want to overstock it. I just wanted to look really, really nice and have some really, really cool fish in there. So, thank you guys for watching and I will catch all of you guys in the next video. Peace.